friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft tutorial. Since we've already done the coaster train on the channel here, and now it's related light rail, the Sprinter, I figured we might as well complete the trifecta here and build its interconnecting bus line, the Breeze. So as you can see here, the bus has a very similar color scheme to the coaster train. So let's get right into the build now. So our first step is to take out a block of coal for the front tire and we'll get that set down. On the side of it put a stone button. Then we'll put three polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox and another block of coal on this side with a stone button. Then we're going to switch over to smooth quartz slabs on the upper hitbox and we're going to make a 3x5 in front of it here. In front of that we're going to put five polished blackstone slabs. Then we'll come behind it and put one row of five smooth quartz. Then behind that, we'll extend down a line of warped slabs, 10 blocks long. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill that all in, five wide, all at the same level here, all the way down to the back of it. Just like that. Next, we're going to put a temporary block here and here so we can put an upside down outward facing smooth quartz stair above each tire and delete the temporary blocks. On this side in front of the wheel, put a door, then two smooth quartz blocks. Then bring smooth quartz all the way across the front here like this and two on this side. We're also going to put a single smooth quartz block right here behind the wheel on each side. Then back here, we're gonna run a full line of cyan concrete up the side to the back of it on each side. Now come in front of here, put a column of black stained glass blocks too high in front of this door, and same thing on the other side. Across the front, we'll put five black stained glass panes and five black stained glass panes across the second layer as well here. On this side, we're also going to put a black stained glass block above this door because Minecraft doors aren't proportional to the build here. The door is really supposed to come up to the top like this. Then we'll come over on this side. We're going to skip a block and we're going to make a two by two of black stained glass blocks. Skip a block, two by two. Skip a block two by two, skip a block two by two. On this side, we're gonna knock out these N2 concretes and put in two doors. Skip a block forward and a two by two of black stained glass. Skip a block, a two by two, skip a block and a two by two. So there's three windows and a door on this side and four windows on the other side here. Then we'll come down behind the back of this here and we're gonna do another two rows of five warp slabs coming across. Then above it on each side, we're gonna put a cyan concrete. Here and here, and then a smooth quartz. Behind that, we're gonna put three warp slabs across the center, and then a block of coal on each side for the back tires. And then we'll put a stone button on the side of each of these blocks of coal here. Then we'll put an upside down outward facing warped stair above each of the tires. Then above each of these back sections put three blue concrete on either side and at the very back above it two black stained glass on either side. Then we're going to come behind here on bottom and we're going to put in a five by five of warped slabs. Just like that. Then back here there's some vents so we're gonna put two bedrock on each side one block in from the end of it. Then up here we're gonna do a smooth quartz and then a cyan concrete. Then a cyan concrete on each of the back two blocks. Then up here 
we're going to do a blue concrete here and here. Then a second blue concrete on each side. And then three smooth quartz on each side. Then up here, skip a block and another two black stained glass blocks on each side. Just like that. Then we'll start putting cyan concrete in between these windows back here and two on the back. Above that door on the other side, we're gonna put two black stained glass blocks. Then in between all these front windows here, on the bottom in between them, we're gonna put a blue concrete in between each window. Same thing over there. And then a cyan concrete in between each window above all the blue concretes we just put in. And same thing over there. Next, we'll swing down to the back end here and across the bottom of the back, we're gonna put five polished black stone slabs for the rear bumper. Then across here, we're gonna put three cyan concrete. And above it, we're gonna put three smooth quartz blocks. Put the wrong block there. That's supposed to be smooth quartz. And above that, we're actually gonna take out these top two cyan concretes on each side here. So take out this one here and this one here and we'll put five blue concrete across there. So it looks like that. Now we'll do the interior. So come in the front here and put a dark prismarine stair here for the driver's seat. Then we'll turn around in front of it and we need to open a dark oak fence gate for the steering wheel. Put a lever here and we're also going to put a glow item frame with an end crystal for the meter. Then we're going to come in and we're going to grab a glass pane here and we're going to put a column of three right here and a column of three right here behind this seat. Then come back here right before these doors and put a column of three on each side like this. Then we're going to do all the rest of the seating in here and we'll still use dark prismarine stairs for that. So put a stair on each side like this facing forward with a gap of space between them till you get right here. Then skip behind the doors and a stair on each side with a space between them and we'll put a full bench across the back. Then we're going to grab gray carpet and everywhere we haven't built on the floor in between all the seats we're going to come through and fill with gray carpet two rows of three here, then come up here and keep coming in between all these seats. Just like that. Bring it up to right there. We can't put it on the front because of the controls we have up there. Then we're going to light up the interior. And for that, we're going to use end rods to look like fluorescent lighting. So starting behind this glass pane up here, on the top level, put a full row of horizontal end rods. Skip behind this glass and bring a full row all the way down to the back here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So do a full row of horizontal end rods up the top on this side. Skip over this glass and bring it forward again till you get to the next glass here. Now we'll start detailing on this back corner bottom block, put an acacia button, same thing on the other side. On back on the bottom two of each side, put glow item frames with redstone blocks in them. Then up here, we're going to make a two by three of warp trap doors closed on it for a vent. And in the center, put a birch sign for the license plate. Now we're going to come up and work on detailing the front end here. Up front on the bottom corner, put an acacia button here. Same thing on this side. Then on each side of the front, a glow item frame. And then we're gonna put a bar of gold in them and rotate it so they're like this for the headlights. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna grab iron bars because there's a bike rack. Put an iron bar here and here, just like that. Up here, 
We're gonna put three black stained glass across here. Then we're gonna put a forward facing dark prismarine stair on either side, three blocks of coal, and three acacia buttons. That's the sign that tells like the route. Then behind it on top of each side, a blue concrete. Then behind that, we're gonna extend back eight cyan concrete. Same thing on this side, eight cyan. And then behind that, a full layer of blue concrete on each side down to the back and come right across the back end with it. On this left corner on the back, put a stone brick wall for the exhaust. Then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three end to end with blue concrete here. So the whole roof is covered. All the way up till you get right here. Then we're gonna come down right here on the side, put a temporary block right here, and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull at an angle, delete the temporary block. Above it, put a lever and make it going down, and that's for the rear view mirror. We'll do the same thing on this side. So we need to get a temporary block over that door, a wither skeleton skull at an angle, delete the temporary blocks, and then a lever above it going down. Then we're gonna come up top. We're gonna put a forward facing dark prismarine stair on either side like this, one block from the front, and then facing backwards, one block from the back on each side. Then we'll do a full row of blue concrete on each of the top outside edges here, all the way up to these stairs, just like that. On the front up here, skip one block back, put a blue concrete on each side. Then we're gonna drag the blue concrete back until it's aligned with the back of the first of the smaller windows back here. Like that. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Then we're gonna take blast furnaces and put a full row of blast furnaces up the middle of that section. Just like that. Then we're gonna take blue carpet and fill it all in up here, but don't cover the blast furnaces. Just so the blue sections on the side are raised just a little bit above the blast furnaces. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So blue carpet all along here. Like I said, just don't cover the blast furnaces. Bring it all the way up here. Then we'll fill up here with blue carpet, and five across here, and three across this coal. Then we'll come down to the back. We'll fill in all the rest of this section with blue carpet. We're also gonna put a dark oak fence on top of this stone brick wall to complete the exhaust here. Then we're gonna come up on top here one block back from the stair, and we're gonna put a row of six item frames. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, one block behind the stair on front, six item frames up here. Then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom. We're gonna use a blue banner and white die. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle, new banner. Vertical on the left, diagonal, top half white. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. New banner, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, diagonal. Then we're gonna switch to blue dye and put a blue border around all these letter banners. Then we can come place the lettering 
So in these item frames, use your banners to spell out the word breeze. And we'll do the same thing over here. Use your banners to spell out the word breeze on the item frames. And there we have it folks. We've completed our breeze public transport bus. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.